Woodstock. Concerns over the job market and economy is leading to renewed talk about the minimum wage. First, here's a look at average incomes in Canada. Nationally, the average hourly wage is $25.03 and or about $52,000 a year, assuming a 40-hour work week. That is close to the Ontario numbers. Workers here earn about 1000 more per year. The lowest average hourly wage in Canada, Prince Edward Island at $21.55 or about $45,000 annually. The highest, Alberta. The hourly wage there is approaching $30 an hour. That translates to an annual salary of just under $60,000. Now, of course, many people make much, much less. Someone on a minimum wage in Ontario takes home half the provincial average. And that helps explain the worldwide Fight for 15 campaign. More on that from La Manacola. I cannot feed with my, my, my family. 62-year-old Abdul Barre has been forced into early retirement. He was a valet driver at Pearson Airport making $14 an hour, but lost his job after it was contracted out. They fired 48 people, including myself, and they hired people who will get 11 bucks per hour. They're fighting to raise minimum wage to $15 an hour. They say the current rate of $11 still falls below the poverty line. This is part of a day of action in over 250 cities around the world. The movement started with fast food workers in the United States. Even healthcare workers are not making $15. Security guards at airports are not making $15. Uh, you've got teachers' aides who are not making $15 an hour. Other low-wage earners join the call at the McDonald's Canadian head office, which coincides with the company's national hiring day. It's recruiting 6,500 people across the country. A spokesperson for the fast food giant says the company and franchisees are guided by what is provincially legislated. In fact, entry-level wages often exceed mandatory provincial minimum wages. What the government has done, uh, they've frozen uh, the minimum wage uh, at a poverty level uh, and they're uh, doing annual increases based on inflation. This professor says the economy could handle a gradual increase. An instant jump from 11 to $15 an hour would come as a shock. A lot of simpler jobs would be eliminated either because the employer would go out of business or uh, people would start automating these jobs. We're working two jobs and my wife's working as well and we hardly see each other, let alone the kids. They say part-time students aren't the only ones in low-paying jobs. These are the many faces of people trying to make ends meet. La Manicola.